everybody. We're back with more winter games. <laughs> and in light of the holiday season, in light of the holiday season, we decided to play a Arctic survival game called the Lone, the Long Dark, the Lone Dark. <laughs> the Long Dark. The Lone Dark. This, nice. this is no Batman. This isn't involving you. Damn it. <laughs> this is developed by Hinter Hinterland, Hinterland Studios. Um, and it still is an alpha, actually. It's been an alpha for a little while now. Yeah. Um, I, I really wanted to play this one. Yeah, Chris no. Chris like, nay, nay, nay. This, this was my perfect opportunity to buy this game, too, because I was like, ah, well, we need winter games for... Yeah, the, we needed this. the excuse to spend the money. <laughs> yep. Uh, so story mode isn't available yet because it still is an alpha, so we're just going to do a sandbox. Uh, off the bat, I love this screen. Oh, it's beautiful. I think it looks wonderful. Uh, the art looks really good. Do random. We're going to be a lady. Damn right. Because why not? I'm always curious, too, to see in games when they present a male and female option if there actually is a mechanical difference. Right. And if there is, what is it? Because sometimes it makes sense if they can justify it, um, but then other times it may not make sense. Right. All right. So this is so sandbox, we're in, a, in case people yeah. didn't see. So we're in the sandbox. We're in a forest. So uh, from off the bat, I love the art. Yeah. I love that it's... And I'm sure they do plan on kind of like spicing up the, the graphics a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the, the textures are pretty I hope they don't do low. too much, though, because I love this sort of... Not like cell shading, but like... Um, what's that art style? I mean, it, it, you could be referring to like polygonal art. Yeah. Um, I think it's this not, looks But really it's not cool. very... Po like, you can see that it's kind of like... Like the, the, the leaves on the trees and some of the branches look like... Yeah, they're in the middle of getting like textures and, 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 and more... Uh, it's defined it's objects. It's but... sort of like if um, old like 007 games yeah. had like good lighting shaders or generators. I like it. It, it sort of works for me. And I'm, I know they're gonna like upgrade and, and go from there since this is just the alpha. But still, I think this looks really cool. Yeah, actually, in this, I feel like it's um, 42 calories. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think it's probably like your. You are consuming that yeah. many calories in your body. Yeah. Take it. Take it. I can make a fire with this. Um, <laughs> the one really bad survival expert's like a stick. <laughs> da 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 da. You hey can man, make a fire. If, if I ever was, was stranded in the middle of the wilderness, I would probably do goofy shit like that. Because you gotta like keep up your, your mood, you know? Yep, you have to do it's, things to keep yourself sane. Yeah, it's like the that new movie, um, what, The the Martian, is it? Yes. The, with Matt Damon. People might be criti critical of like the humor in the movie because it's, you know, a survival situation. But you go crazy. Yeah. Like... You, you gotta, like, make crack jokes and do silly stuff to keep yourself mm -hmm. uplifted enough to, like, be motivated to live. Oh, that's a really messed up thought. Like, what would you do in a survival situation? Um, I love what thinking I'd about like that stuff. What I'd like to do is survive, build a shelter, get help, go home. <gasps> Damn it, I don't have any What I'd that. probably do is cry and die. <laughs> <laughs> Like at once, <laughs> at the same time, just <laughs> curl up in the curl up in the snow and cry yourself to death. Yep. Yeah, I feel like I I imagine that that's actually what a lot of people would do, in, mm. including myself. Right? Like, I study wilderness survival for fun, oh, um, cool. and like Arctic survival is my jam. Like, I fucking love it, dude. I I've actually come up with a lot of game concepts revolved around surviving in a wilderness, like mm -hmm. Arctic's wilderness setting. They're interesting. I didn't know you were into that sort of yeah. stuff. Yeah, one of my, um, one of my early, early, like, paper pro or paper uh, RPG, like tabletop RPGs, mm -hmm. um, the entire campaign and the game mechanics were based around that Ooh, setting. Oh, creepy. Yeah, and it was, it was going to be a horror survival game oh, in, okay. in a tabletop RPG. Um, um, and I just, I never had time to finish it because who the hell is time to write a fucking yeah, book? Fucking, <laughs> yeah. You actually just reminded me, I went with um, my buddy, uh, Andrew. I went, because um, he goes to school for um, stage combat and stuff. Mm, and nice. there was a book that his professor had. And his professor is the coolest guy. Apparently he trained somebody who's in WWE. And, like, I visited him. I went with him to the school. Had to sit down and talk with this guy. This guy was super fucking cool. He's got, um... It's really funny because his office has, like, headshots of all of his graduates. 
like everywhere. So he's like, hey, I worked with them, I worked with them, I worked with them. That's actually and kind of then awesome. in one corner, he's got the picture of the wrestler, who's uh, Aiden English, by the way, for any wrestler fans. Um, he's got a, like his WrestleMania access picture. He's got like a fa- like a championship belt replica. He's got a WrestleMania poster. He's got a poster for a wrestling like mockumentary that they had done. Um, super cool stuff. But there was a book he had, and I forgot. It was like the basics of knife fighting in the worst prison in the world. Oh my! And basically, all of them involve either going for a, a, a headlock or like a sleeper. Or getting the knife away and then literally stabbing until they stop moving. It was like the most messed up book I've ever seen. That's dark, man. It didn't have like, like here's the evidence of it working. But it was like, <laughs> it had like diagrams showing like the steps. And one's like, you know, get away from the knife. And then it has one where it's get away from the knife. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> it was a little messed up. So, yeah, there's my story of the day. Where where did this even come from? What the, the, the story? story? You were talking about looking in uh, survival books and in like oh, okay. winter survival stuff, and it just so it's reason. like a prison survival one hundred and one. <laughs> yeah, winter survival, prison survival. Close enough. Yeah, it works. Uh, it's got survival on it. What no, happened? I sprained my wrist. What did you do? I fell off that little cliff. All right. So mechanics I, wise, I think that's cool. No, I think that's really cool. I actually wonder... So it wasn't that far of a drop. So to me, I wonder if that was a random variable. If Possibly. like If you aren't careful and you like do little jumps, there's always a chance that you could sprain something. Possibly. Um, my question is, is there anything we can do to that? Oh, I'm freezing. Oh, my. Uh, oh, I wish I had dying. realized that. Oh, boy. So that's one thing about the game so far that I kind of like is that when you're in the game, when you're out of the menu, it doesn't really give you much... I mean, it gives you the little thing in the bottom left corner, letting you know, hey, you're freezing. Yeah, But is, it's is not that... so big, it does not really... I like that it's red because a, lo- a large amount of the stuff in here is going to be white and blue and, and cool mm-hmm. colors. The fact that it's red is going to immediately draw your attention, which is awesome. Yeah, I, I think it might be a little bit small for the, the total screen real estate, yeah. but like, I, I agree, I, I like that it's unobtrusive. Yes, because I think this game is going to be very much about the spectacle of, of what it is that you're doing. Oh, I also enough. like that the menu doesn't seem to be like a um, an, uh, nuisance. Yes. The way it's constructed seems to be intelligently designed. This? Yeah, I don't see anything that um, is unneeded. I'm not a huge fan of their inventory display just because it's like there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Um, and you can sort it, which is important. And, ooh, you can even mark things as... Oh, cool. Um, the favorite system. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, but... That's actually become a big thing in games lately. The it's, favorite item system. I think that's exceptionally important in games that have a lot of items. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Skyrim. It's especially those games because their interfaces are awful to begin with. Um, yeah. Fallout 4, I think their interface is much improved from yes. Skyrim. In Skyrim, I thought it was generally an improvement. I just thought that they made some risky decisions that didn't pay off. Yeah. There's actually the uh, uh, mod. Because I think on an episode, Ooh. like a couple months ago, there was an episode where I was talking about, like, I finally got Skyrim for my computer, which means I had access to mods and all that shit. So oh, I was yeah. playing. I was playing the most messed up game of Skyrim ever. Um, dragons were like three hundred percent bigger. Um, the big bad dragon looked like it was Sauron. If Sauron were a dragon, he just looked worse. Did you? Did, okay, so when you did you play Skyrim normally though before? You, yes, oh, okay. I did. Uh, when I had an Xbox three hundred and sixty, I did play a lot of Skyrim. I didn't get very far though. Okay. Because I had made a character that didn't work for, you know, what are those things? Oh, yeah, dragons. Um, especially when the dragons were like, we're just going to stay up in the air. And I made a, a, a dual-wielding melee fighter. And before, real because I know you're going to do it, before you yell at me, why did you make the dual fight magic or archery? I, I was young weapons and I was all the dumb. Time? Wait, 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 you're saying... 
Are you saying that it's dumb to be dual wielding with like... No, no, no. I'm not saying it's dumb to do that. I'm saying I focused pretty much only on that as my method of defense, which made fighting dragons impossible. I mean, it's it's to each their own, right? That's what yeah. games... That's what good sandbox games like Skyrim are designed around. They, yeah. It doesn't force you to play any specific way. Um, the only times that they really do are with certain quests, and even with those, they generally are pretty dynamic. Yeah. Um, but that's... I think that's important in a sandbox game. Yeah. Because if you want to focus... Oh, nice. If you want to focus on, you know, hand-to-hand skills, then do it. Mm-hmm. So what if Be it's not... Cheat. Yeah, so what if it's not the most efficient way? It's what's most fun. That's true. Um, and sure, like, the players that argue that efficiency takes precedence no matter what are always going to not have fun with that. But I don't know. I, I suppose, like, I'm, I'm, you've we've been friends for a long time. I'm not the efficiency is the best way kind of guy. No. However... Anyone that's watched this show knows <laughs> that... Um, <laughs> shut up. Um, however, whenever I'm playing, like Fallout, all right, I'm playing Fallout 4, and I love it. I think it's a great game. But there is that lingering voice in the back of my head. Anytime I'm like, oh, I want to wear this because it's probably going to look cool, or oh, it'll give me a little bit more armor, but it's not going to, whatever. Like, whenever I'm about to do something which is not going to be a smart option, more of a fun option, there's that voice that goes into my head like, you're doing it wrong. Like... I don't know. It's difficult. What do you do? Oh, you're starting this a fire and you're awesome. killing. So I can change the fuel and it changes the duration of the fire. Oh, that's oh, really smart. It's that's super cool. I can, I can add can an accelerator. An it oh, there's a chance of failure too. Seven percent is pretty cool. good. I wonder if changing the tinder normally changes the chance of success. Probably. Since these are all basically the same quality, there's probably that's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, and there's a skill, too. Wow. Awesome. Hmm. I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what the future of this game is going to be like. Yeah, because definitely. That's, that, like, that's really clever. And I'm sure there's there's even a lot more than we've seen so far, but like that's a good framework yeah, for adding absolutely. a lot of really interesting stuff. Now, so far, really the mechanics that we've explored are like the health management to a point, right? Because don't you still have a sprained wrist? Uh, no, actually, I fixed it with, with medicine. Cool. Um, which was really just a painkiller, but there's not much more you can do with a sprain wrist other than splint it, and I don't have any things to splint it with. What about those sticks? Well, you don't have any cloth to splint it with. You need both. Oh, such a... Someone didn't learn, learn first aid 101. <laughs> I was Sermer cert- didn't learn. <laughs> I, was, I was certified in... Uh, First aid and uh, CPR for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I need a lantern is what I need. Yeah, it's really dark. Oh, there's a corpse. You know, we encountered a corpse earlier, and I didn't say anything about it, but suddenly encountering the corpse inside this building that I've now claimed as my home and shelter, I'm like, oh, God, there's a there's a dead body in here. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, why didn't this bother me before? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Shelf. No, I don't want to like that. Oh, good. I like that you have to hold down the uh, the mouse button for it to actually ignite. That mm. way it prevents you from accidentally consuming something that you don't want to consume. That's fair. Yeah, you really oh, bed! Yes. I don't want to sleep yet, though. I got this nice, nice good old fire burning downstairs. I don't want to waste that. I wonder Thin if I can sweater. add... Ooh, nice. Complete with those elbow pads on those sweaters that... Don't make any sense. And, I mean, that's a style. Is this a style thing? I think it's a style thing. I mean, maybe it's for, like, if you tumble, it's extra padding for your joints. I don't know. (laughs) I don't know, man. I'm not a fashion designer. I'm not Jen. What just happened? The the fire went out. It lasted for seven minutes. That's all we get. I wish there was kind of a way to add, like... We can start a fire with sticks, right? But, like, I don't think we can add more. Can we? No, we can just change it. Unless I can, like, start the fire and then add sticks to it. That's a possibility. That would be nice, because then we don't have to consume matches or tinder every single time. And Mm. um, I think that's important in a survival game. Absolutely. That's like, survival 101 is you keep that fire going, (laughs) no matter what. Especially if you're in the Arctic. 
Because yeah. if you get wet, if you don't already have a fire waiting for you, you could die. You, you will get hypothermia and die. Oh, I failed. You will get hypothermia and die. <laughs> Jesus. I'm serious. <laughs> it's important. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Cook herbal tea. Oh, I need water. Can Cook I? it. Just melt snow. Wow, that's so fast. Oof. Eh, a little too fast, in my opinion. Because otherwise, what the hell is the point of the stick other than to, I guess, get the fire started? Mm -hmm. Or, like, learn how to uh, increase your, like, fire building skill. Yeah. I wonder if that's something else that'll, that'll be put in this game later on is kind of like a starting spec, like, oh, skill yeah. in X things. Because I'm sure there's going to be more than just fire building. I wonder if there's like a medicine skill and a... I'm tired, hungry, and thirsty. Oh, I only slept for one hour, that's why. We'll sleep for... How much... We have two hours of daylight left. Ah, uh, let's use it. Now that we kind yeah, of... Yeah, you need to get out. some food and drink. Yeah, I only have stupid herbal tea, which doesn't have any calories. Yeah. Oh, wait, I have a granola bar. Uh, that's firewood. Beef jerky. There. Uh, how do I. This is not the most intuitive thing. Cancel. Can I. I'm just gonna go here. Yeah. Food. There we go. Herbal tea and orange soda. Oh, yeah, I have a lot of orange soda. Drink that. Drinking. Oh, calorie counter. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. I kind of wish they had something to tell us how many calories we were burning per, like... The hell was that? Oh, that was the backpack. How many calories we're burning, like, per hour. Mm. Um, because, like, does it tell... Okay, it tells us the temperature, which you can actually kind of calculate that air temp, clothing, wind chill. Okay, so it kind of, like... Oh, nice. So it feels like must be the actual, like calculation after all of the yeah. things because it's air temperature is minus 12 the wind chill the adds wind three, is minus three but, but the clothing, clothing cancels gives out us, the wind chill. yeah oh nice okay that's cool that's smart didn't you pick up a whole bunch of clothing or did you already figure that out shit you're right fuck where is it i didn't put that on <laughs> god i'm the worst shit. survivor boop, boop, boop. Wait, i'm hitting all the buttons okay so this clothing is ooh, plus 9.9 percent so I'm going to wear that. And I got a hat. 0.9 of a degree Celsius. Which is actually not bad. Yeah. Every degree matters when you're in Arctic survival. <laughs> it does! <laughs> I'm serious! It's dangerous out here! <laughs> or you could die! You could die! Cactail heads. I wonder what I can use that for. I could probably use that as tinder. They're kind of mm. spongy. Also, I think I'm walking on a frozen river or lake or pond. Are, yeah. You're on a lake right now. I'm Which on is a lake! <laughs> incredibly dangerous. I really shouldn't be... I wonder if there's, like, a chance that the ice will break or something. Well, probably. Or, like, what if you... you One there's, way to find What that. if there's, like, a chance that you'll slip? Oh, yeah. Although, I, I guess that would be, like, a balance to consider, right? Because you don't want this game to turn into just, like, a game of random variables. I think yeah. I am walking and running slower, though. While on the ice. Oh, yeah. Um, which, that's important, because time goes by so fast in this game. Mm -hmm. In fact, I should probably start heading back, because... Wait! There's an ice shack. I could build a fishing pole. I could <laughs> go ice fishing. Your Chicago and shine, sh shined through for a second. Did it really? There's an ice shack. Shake. Pick that shit up. <gasps> yes! Oh, hey. And so, ooh, that's nice. Newspaper, good, good. Scrap metal, ooh. Getting fancy up in here. Cloth. Ooh. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, Dead Rising 2. Because oh. Dead Rising 2 had the uh, item combining mechanic to make weapons and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, that's right, it did. My friend Ian had the best joke. Uh, it was, oh, wait. One cardboard box, another cardboard box, put them together and you get a bigger cardboard box. <laughs> My god. So I just had the thought of like, sewing kit, cloth, tomato soup. 
<laughs> you get our powers uh, combined. We get a tomato piece of cloth soup with the tomato soup dumped on it, and then you sew it together so it's like a bomb. <laughs> tomato soup. So you soup throw bomb? it, and then it just falls apart. You get tomato soup on something. Something tells me that that wouldn't save you in a zombie survival situation. That's the joke. Do you get it? It's a joke. I don't get it. So wait, do I consume it? Okay, I opened it. Oh, now I have to heat it up. Potent potables. Does it tell us how long it's going to take to cook these things? Mm -mm. I don't think it does. I you mean, heated up the tomato soup. Does that mean you ate it? That's what I'm wondering. You can prepare food. Um. You are exhausted. Yeah, I should sleep. There it is. There it is. And I can eat it. Do it. Mmm. Yeah. 300. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Mm. And I can drink this water. Mmm. Yeah. I mean, that's cool, but why? Because you need water? Oh, why else? Oh, you need a torch in order to even get around oh, the geez. fucking room. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Well, we're taking a torch upstairs. Reclaimed wood. I'm going to turn you into a torch. Yeah, ooh, that's really cool, actually. Oh, and you can use it as a weapon? That's awesome. Brandish or extinguish. Hey, buddy. Oh. Hey, oh. Oh, he's one of those, he's one of those corpses water. that his hand is just one solid shape. <laughs> oh. Can I put the torch in there? I can. Ooh, nice. Oh, I can use, I can use the cattail heads. Nice. Ha ha. All right, we're going to start a fire up here, warm this joint, and then we're going to go to sleep. I don't know if that actually matters, because we're probably going to be warm while we're sleeping anyway, but... Warm this joint? This joint. <laughs> this place. <laughs> this joint is hot! <laughs> All right, ten hours of darkness left. We're going to sleep for ten hours, then, because why would we waste any time? Yeah. Staying awake burns calories. Psh, psh. It's true. I'm just going to freeze by going outside. And then... <laughs> I'm not dead, am I? Oh, okay, it's just telling me how long I've survived. fire went out. Uh, I can't Which see anything. Really... Oh, it's so dark. I can't hear what you said. I'm sorry. It sounded like... I know it's not what she said, but it sounded like she was just like, whores. <laughs> Fucking whores. She's looking at the corpse. Fucking whore. Check your stats. How are you doing on, like, heat and all that? Oh, m wow. Oh, I'm Ooh. hungry. Whoa. I'm also parched. I'm gonna drink some water. I mean, I did sleep for ten hours, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Okay, so that's that. Tin of sardines. Eat it. Hell yeah! Mmm. Have you ever eaten sardines? <laughs> Hell yeah! Sardines are delicious and I weird. Not. Uh, no. The only sardines I've ever interacted with have been in the Will noises off. Will make you thirsty. Uh, why would... I have plenty of water. But that's interesting. That's true. That's a nice mechanic to keep in mind. So check your stats before... I can eat the cat tail, cat tail stick stocks? Do you, you want to try that one more time? I didn't know you cat could eat those. Cat tail stick stock, 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 stock. I, I didn't know you could eat that, actually. That's awesome. Survival 101, man. Do cat tails grow where it... Freezes? I mean, I guess maybe this Check region your... isn't always, um, frozen. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. we're good now. Your temperature's a little low. Yeah, but I'm outside, outside, so... We don't have the little display in the lower left corner, so... we're. Uh... I think we're okay, so long as that's not present. Mm. That's my theory, anyway. That's fair. So I, I wonder how much longer um, development for this game is going, going to be... Um, I know it's been in early access for quite a while and been yeah. considered in alpha for quite a while also. Um, but, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I wonder what they'll even have in the story mode, too, you know? Yeah, that'll be definitely interesting if they incorporate, like, um, almost like a Dead Rising approach. Like, you have this long to survive, but you have to go and find, like, these people and save them or whatever, like... It ends up becoming, like, you're working as a team. Oh, my. Yeah, that would be interesting. And, I mean, this game already kind of stands out from the crowd of other, like, wilderness survival games because it has the Arctic mechanics, and mm. that complicates everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like a lot of the other... I haven't played a ton of wilderness survival games on Steam, but 
I feel like a lot of them often suffer the issue of you don't really have to maintain bodily functions like right. sleep or eating or things like that. And it's like, well, building shelters and avoiding, you know, dangerous animals are nice and all, but that's not really how wilderness survival works. Right. Um, There's a lot more that goes into it. Yeah, and I imagine a lot of those games are built that way because players generally expect to have, like, a lot of action. Mm. And, you know, maybe the fear is that players won't be as engaged. What is happening with the colors? Is it getting dark? Or maybe it's because I'm in this little, like, mini valley? Hmm. I don't know. Don't know. So, uh, what are your what are some of your thoughts about this game? I think this is pretty well designed. There are initially when we were kind of like um, testing the the waters a little bit. Oh, mm -hmm. here. Yeah, so it's I mean it's hundred percent. So I'm oh, okay. okay. So far, um, initially when we were testing the waters, I was a little bit put off by uh, Dave's quiet clearing. I'm assuming this is Dave. There you are, buddy. Oh. Um, I was a little put off by the consistent, um, Ooh. like, time bars, you know? Like, oh, you're doing this, gotta wait a couple oh, seconds. Yes. You're doing this, gotta wait a couple seconds. You're doing this, gotta wait a couple seconds. Like, initially I was thrown off by it, but realistically, it's not the Skyrim method. It's not the Fallout method where, oh, there's this close, boom, got him, and they're just naked body right in front of you. Like, there's, certain things do take time, and it makes sense in this sort of scenario, because time is a big factor. Since it goes by so quickly, your body can deteriorate quicker, your hunger can start taking more strength quicker, you can get thirstier, you can get colder and all that stuff. Like, I, I understand the idea. What is going on? I'm having a hard time moving. I wonder if I... Check your inventory. I wonder if they... Oh, I'm freezing. Well, that would do it. Let's build us a fire. Yeah. We need this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess the way I saw it is um, they could have just as easily done something like, wow, this fire lasts a lot longer than I might have required more resources mm -hmm. to burn. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I, I, I guess the way I saw it is we could have eased, they could have just as easily said, like, X amount of time is going to pass from performing this action. Um, and maybe their idea of that was that maybe that's um, too numerical. Maybe they didn't yeah. want it to be so numbers focused. And well, in that sense, I I understand what they're going for. Um, and I think it helps reinforce the pace of the game. It's not meant to be a fast-paced, like mm -hmm. action-packed game. It's meant yeah. to be wilderness survival where you're being careful and you're being thoughtful about everything you're doing. So with that in mind... I'm even more intrigued by what the story mode is going to be. Yes. Because what if you have a couple of people you also have to take care of? That would complicate things dramatically. Yeah, it's exactly. actually more likely that you'll survive a wilderness scenario if you are the only one. Yeah. Um, of course, if you get hurt or sick yeah, or something, yeah, then you're super wolf. fucked. But Yeah. I just saw that the Batman mask is just over my shoulder and I got a little scared. <laughs> okay, well Nobody I, ever said I was observant I think I think that's all we, yeah. we, we're going to do for this one um, If people want to see us play more of this though Like, I I already really like this game And we hadn't played this one really before recording this So mm. if people want to see it We can even poke around and kind of learn some things And then yeah. really like go in, in, in Like and record a, a series on this If I may, for question of the day Oh yeah um, With the elements that are presented so far in this game What would be the ideal story mode that would accompany this? that you would use oh, in this sort question. of theming. Because so far, like he said, everything that we've run across has been about survival management. It's about mm -hmm. getting heat, food, drink, and shelter. How would you implement a story into that this as well with that those works with mechanics. it that could pos possibly also add new and interesting mm -hmm. mechanics at the same time? Because sandbox is just you. doesn't mean that the story mode is just you. So feel free to leave a comment below. We'll have the question of the day down there. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is, uh, happy holidays, guys. 
Um, and yeah, if you guys want want us to do a full playthrough or whatever when this when the full release comes out, by all means, let us know. I mean, I'm totally down for doing it anyway. I mean, we own it now, so screw, screw that. One, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you have any game requests, feel free to send us some. Um, if you have any other notes or such, comment down below. Uh, You're and, really bad at being concise at these outros. Well, there's me being bad at being concise, and you're like, so our question of the day is insert paragraph here, and then we have this I, like I, button. I usually and then the like button. I usually cut that out. Yeah. Anyway, bye happy everybody. Thank you for guys. watching. Good. I'm glad that our goodbye was done at the same time. <laughs>